This is Nadine O. Traveler, and I'm doing a special edition for the Andy Project. I have a guest here, if you happen to notice. This is Paris Collins, and I'm so glad he's here to uh, uh, speak to you and to speak to me about what's happening today in the world, everywhere. There's a buzz. There's, there's something sizzling on the pan. So, Paris, how are you doing today? Very good. How are you, Nadine? Um, um, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm happy to be alive, to be creating, to be uh, tapping into all this new technology. It's exciting. Oh, it, is. it is more than exciting. You know, no matter what happens, it really does. Uh, it, it's uh, surprising how we are in touch with the touch of a button. You know, a cell phone has changed the world. You know, in all manner, you know, and uh, how we're all being affected by it is most amazing. You know, that uh, all movements and, and that uh, we know uh, how the world is feeling and how mm -hmm. everybody's dealing with the world, no matter where they are. Uh, you couldn't get a message from the Sudan unless it came from uh, the first news, the first media, which is TV and maybe mm -hmm. radio. And now uh, everybody's there. And if they've got a cell phone, they're telling you what's going on. You know, we're kind of triangling all information. What's going on for me in specific is uh, I'm a comic book artist. I, uh, I worked for Marvel DC for more than 30 years. And, uh, and and I've been in media for, you know, in and out of it all my life, so to speak. It, maybe it was before I worked for Marvel TV. I remember your TV once about uh, some silly thing. So mm -hmm. um, what we're getting, what's coming out now is a thing called the Black Panther. Yes. <laughs> And the Black Panther is a comic book character created by uh, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Um, and it was in the 1965, I believe, right in the middle mm -hmm. of that heyday. And uh, as a, first he started off kind of like as an antagonist. He was somebody that uh, found himself, uh, the Fantastic Four fight, found himself fighting. But in the end, what they really found out was that here's a king who's uh, mm -hmm. controlling this large resource. And he's... Mm -hmm. And as, they, as far as they can understand, he's the richest man in the world. And when they go there, uh, he's kind of set up uh, a situation where they had to go through this thing in order to meet him or, or deal with him. And it was a set of traps and he fought them. And, and, and in a way, he beat them all, you know, to get apart then together or whatever. But in the end, you find out he's this guy, um, that uh, he's king, and that he's ready to come out to the world. He was a he was an internalist, they're, they're um, exclusionist. It's his whole country kind of stayed away from the rest of the world. To, to Fantastic Four's chagrin, is the most advanced country in the world. Mm -hmm. That they in control of this element called vibranium, and that uh, he was just trying to protect it because the Fantastic Four had so many enemies. That they, mm -hmm. they had enemies. So he had uh, they had the same enemy. He asked them to join them. But that lore, that story, just kept expanding. And everybody wanted to know about it. And everybody wanted to do it. And even uh, Wesley Snipes wanted to play him and make him in, uh, in, yeah. the, uh, in the late 90s. And mm -hmm. uh, he didn't get to do it. So he made Blade, which was a great movie. Marvel yes. didn't really talk about it much, which I don't understand what that was about. But Marvel didn't uh, talk about it much. But that's their first hit. And mm -hmm. yeah, he didn't get to do it. But it has come to four. They didn't have the money to do it back then. They got the mm -hmm. money now, and you're you're here to see a, a movie in what's the word in all its excellence, in all its excellence. Yes, and and it's just caught on. Everybody in their mother wants to see this movie. People who never mm -hmm. heard of it want to see this movie. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's about the I guess a, a society that's uh, all black. It's a story that's about the uh, most of the characters are black and uh, are African, and uh, it's a self. It's about being uh, self-reliant. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it, the, the biggest message is the self-reliance and uh, how you're going to make and protect the things that are yours. And it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great thing to see. It's a, all that opulence, all that richness, all this technology, mm -hmm. all this being ahead of it all has made them mm -hmm. uh, um, a sort, never seen before, yeah. a fantasy mm -hmm. for us as, uh, yeah. as Black people are concerned. And uh, everybody wants to, everybody wants to join in. Yeah, you know, I've been seeing some of the uh, promos for it, 
and the folks in there, the sisters and the brothers in there, the the outfit, the the streamlineness of right. it, <laughs> just yeah, they yeah they bad. blended yeah they blended everything together. They blended yeah. the uh, not just when someone says African African culture, they're not really talking about one African culture. It's a body there that has basically um, what are those people called the uh, uh, big tall ones. Oh my gosh! I'm like being struck because <laughs> I'm a little nervous. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Take but, your but, time. But, but there's the guards that guard mm -hmm. the that guards the Black Panther T'Challa, and they are called the Dora Milaje, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. it's all women, and they're they're they're, they're badasses. Every last yeah. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the, the uniforms are sleek, but functional, and from each culture that each one comes from. And I as I was saying before. We got the Maasai, got the uh, the uh, Buddha, uh, Congolese. They've got mm -hmm. all these different cultures and looks. They've got the uh, um, the, the what you call the, the African um, cultural scarring. They've mm -hmm. got the uh, uh, you know the thing with the extended lips. It's amazing. It is just amazing to see these things put in a function. That you yeah. don't still look at it and going, hey, that's silly over there. When you see it in its function, you come to adore it and go, yeah. why am yeah. I having any of that in my life? Why yeah. isn't the, it starts to look like what's going on? To understand the way we uh, we think of God, the way we think of our religions, there's, uh, the ways we personally identify, I think it's also kind of genetic. And when you start mm -hmm. to see it in a way that makes it all function, you tend to mm -hmm. gravitate and think, yeah, that's... That's closer to the way I, I see it, and closer to the mm -hmm. way I think about it. And um, um, it brings us closer. It brings us mm -hmm. closer and more in contact to our, our inner selves, you know, because we're always looking uh, to explain ourselves, and we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. We should just accept it. And it's, it's an amazing and beautiful yes. thing to see. Yes. Beautiful thing to see. Yes. You know? So as a comic artist, illustrator, I mean, you're beyond that. You're creating other things as well. But to yeah. see this go from a comic book to a movie, a feature length movie, as an artist, how does that make you feel? What well, what doors yeah. open I, from you know, something I, like that? Yeah, I know. When I saw the Avengers, uh, uh, Captain America always gets to me. But when I saw the Avengers and there was this thing called the Helicarrier, this giant thing. It sits around in the Marvel world to read a comic book. It's always mm -hmm. kind of there showing up. It's the representation of government, of big government. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. it shows up, you know, it has this presence. It's like uh, knowing where the Empire State Building is, mm -hmm. uh, knowing where uh, uh, the San Andreas tar pits is or something. When you see it, you go, this is what they've been talking about. And then when you see it in the movies, I started crying. Never mm -hmm. cried in any movie. I started crying because that's saw that thing. But you started making all that world real. When uh, yeah. And when you see this, it's Wakanda. I've been reading about Wakanda all my life, and they're, they're working on it to make it this place that's real. And when you see it, you just lose your mind. I just mm -hmm. flip. I flip because it's what I've been dreaming about my whole entire life. Wow. When I, you know, they made Superman. I remember when I was uh, they made the first one with Christopher Reed. Mm -hmm. I, I cut school to see it, and I got in line. When I got there, there was a line that went two blocks around, I was living in Philadelphia then, it okay. went two blocks around Market to the up, past the other movies back to where it was, wow. which was in the Milgram. And they were all in, I was in line. And when I got back, I saw the movie, couldn't believe my eyes, yes, I believe the man could fly. And all that other stuff that happened. But when I got back, there was these little new feed, news feeds about the comic book artists talking about it and how we all went to see it at the same mm -hmm. time. It was mm -hmm. a dream come true. This. Wow. Is a dream, but a personal dream because there's no offense, Superman's white, and uh, I'm not. Mm -hmm. This guy's black. This guy's mm -hmm. living a life. Is he's living with his mother? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, his father's gone, and his father, his mother's there. How mm -hmm. how close that is to, to most of our lives, um, and that the the matriarch is uh, is not so not running is the advisor, is uh, is bringing the wisdom, and uh, mm -hmm. she looks. Absolutely amazing. She was to me. She's dressed like she looks more like Storm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but the Storm I always wanted to see. 
Yeah. I'm not, no offense to anybody else. Just no, she, no. I, I, she, they, they tell me she's taller. I expect to see her taller. You know, mm -hmm. but I, I'm not disappointed in any of the, the ideas. The Eric Killmonger or, or, or uh, Claw, they they changed things, but they changed it in ways that make sense in the way we see the world now. Mm -hmm. um, At that time. Yes. Every time. Yes, it is. And, and this is uh, quite amazing. Well, you know, the future has to be the future and it has to be something you're not seeing, but you know is coming. And mm -hmm. uh, they, they did a fantastic job with that. As a comic artist, I, uh, like I said, the um, I'm always amazed. I've seen it, you know, I, I did storyboards for uh, games and, and mm -hmm. uh, covers and uh, and uh, been involved in any, many manner of what the film production is. Mm -hmm. This is as close to making something that was always in my head, not theirs, mm -hmm. mine, you know. I went to a seminar once and um, it was about Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they were all complaining and saying what the, they didn't like about it and so on and so forth. And I really knew what they, they didn't like about it, but but my main feature was I did understand it. And I and I asked, could I speak? And they said, who are you? And I said, I used to draw Wonder Woman. Can I come up? And he said, yeah. And I said, it was like 300 women in there. And I said, let's be honest. I said, can you be honest? That's so hard. Can you be honest? Mm -hmm. How many of you actually read Wonder Woman? Only two wow. women raised their hand. I said, then you don't really know the experience. You just know you see it and don't like it. And right. I'm with you because I don't open a book sometimes if I don't like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. But but doesn't that in every respect make you responsible to make your own? Yeah. That I can't be your eyes. You have to be your eyes. Be, your Black people complain about, well, it'll get my superhero. And they say, and I say, make one. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask anybody to make one. Why are you asking somebody? Go ahead and make one and watch it all change. And this is what's going on. They, the independent market has been making heroes. Mm -hmm. and they're out there and it's all coming out. There's Brother Man and there's the Tuskegee Airs, which is, you know, you think it's these grown men in place. It's not little kids in place mm -hmm. because their parents were the Tuskegee Airmen and they have little children uh, flying these planes. I love that book. I love Brother Man, you know. I love what I'm coming out with, Marcus Arena. I love my uh, the the little girl book called The Plush Baby. I mm -hmm. like that we're producing this stuff and it's coming out full steam, just mm -hmm. like this. This thing was made a long time ago, and the guy who created it, I I, I tend to give it to Jack and more to Stan because mm -hmm. Jack, if you look at all his body of work, he has a fairness about it. If he says in a comic book, everything's extreme. It's mm -hmm. the best, it's the biggest, Flash is the fastest, mm -hmm. Adam Sweet's the smallest, Ant-Man gets the, you know, you're the king of what you are. And the, and that world is is limitless. Mm -hmm. And he made Wakanda, and it was really, when you look at it, it is a takeoff of uh, King Solomon. Mm -hmm. Takeoff of, uh, of uh, the guy that ran Timbuktu. Mm -hmm. I said, it's the biggest and the greatest country of all time, and that they had the rights to a very specific mineral that everybody wanted, and that they mm -hmm. had to fend against the world to do it, and they did. They always did. Nobody could get it. And mm -hmm. that's what who this guy is, except he's his one, he's, he's, he's got an army, but he's a one-man army unto himself, hmm. right? And uh, it's, a, it's a great thing to see. It's just mm -hmm. an amazing thing to see. Jack did it. He wrote this fantasy world, and when you the moment you see it, you go, "Man, that is bad. That's mm -hmm. it. This is this is what I want." And uh, mm -hmm. we're here to see it, and you, you can see the response. Everybody, everybody's going to see it like it is a glass of clear water. Yes. Like it's uh, like it's nourish, it's nourishment to tell you the truth. You know, it, it, and, uh, <laughs> and I'll it's give them definitely the a buzz. Yes, it's definitely it. a buzz going around. It is. It's a buzz. I, you know, I, my favorite thing is to look on YouTube and people who had just seen it, they got their own free screening, you know, they're crying mm -hmm. about it and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. They were, I'm quite amazed by their sincerity and, uh, mm -hmm. and happy to participate. Yeah. I myself haven't yet seen it. You know, I'm throwing my own, um, my, own uh, my own party before mm -hmm. the convention, before the movie and after mm -hmm. the movie. And it's called mm -hmm. the Fox Panther premiere. 
Okay. Before the beginning, uh, we have uh, people who have been writing and drawing the Black Panther, like uh, Alicia Martinez, and uh, we have, uh, uh, what's his name, an uh, 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 artist and uh, what's the word? a writer for, mm -hmm. um, they work both Marvel and DC, and it's a uh, many a uh, thing for them, and his name is Eric Battle. I got mm -hmm. uh, myself as a commentator talking, and there's mm -hmm. others coming. Uh, the mm -hmm. name can't be produced because we're still in negotiations. Yeah, I hate right. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the politic. That's the politics of it all. Hey, you know. Yeah. And uh, and that um, we have uh, um, one of the, the the biggest Black Panther Namilia. <laughs> Oh my God. Memorabilia. Memorabilia, you know, and uh, all these things, these toys, these comics, this guy's got, you, you can't believe this all been going on and you never seen any of it. It's crazy. And, uh, you know, um, and an exhibit from Denise John that is, uh, a, 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 what's the word for it? A, an honorarium to this mm -hmm. mythology that is the mm -hmm. Black Panther. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see, you'll, uh, you'll, it's just going to blow your mind. You, you wow. see it. There's a you know this little buffet with the desserts and everything aimed mm -hmm. at it. Perhaps some uh, candy and uh, candy mm -hmm. corn and uh, of this special type, and uh, you'll uh, enjoy. It. <laughs>